Hanneman with the Reading goal kick. Has played in all the Reading League games so far this season. Here's Doyle. Doyle's clear of the back four. Good save from Karai. Karai, the man, stretching out his right leg to deny Doyle the in-form Reading striker. Here come Palace down the right-hand side. Good run from Johnson into the area he goes. Referee looks interested, and so does Johnson. Reading players will be breathing a sigh of relief there, you suspect. Ian Dowie, on the other hand, asking questions of that referee. Here's Bobby Convey. Neat first touch from him. Jinx in field. Teeing it up for Doyle. Doyle with a strike and another good save from Karai. Catches it on the rebound. Fits Hall, the man who's back quickly for Palace. Gunnison with a neat ball through to Doyle. Gunnison continues his run. Harper waits in the middle. Here's Doyle. Doyle beats the first defender. Great strike from Kevin Doyle. And that's the breakthrough that Reading and Steve Koppel wanted. Kevin Doyle heads off to greet the Reading fans. Terrific strike from inform Kevin Doyle. Johnson takes the ball on his chest. Fine strike from Johnson. 1-1. Keeping up his hopes to head to the World Cup. Sven keeping an eye on him, no doubt. Andy Johnson has played full internationals in the past and that was the quality that's got him to that level. 1-1 and Reading trying to retake the lead. Murty up to Glenn Little. Little with the tricks. Wonderful skills from Little. Look at the footwork. In it goes, deflection off the Palace defender. Terrific wing play from Glenn Little. Palace on the charge. Inga Marson, the man backing off. Chance for a shot, perhaps. Good save from Hanneman. Hanneman absolutely in the right place at the right time. Here come Palace again, and Palace have got the lead. 2-1. Sharp finish. On the turn. And there go the celebrations. Palace clearly trying to keep up their form. Up to ninth in the championship on ten points, and in contention for that playoff place at this early in the season. More defending for Reading to do here. Hanneman's out bravely. Fine save from the big American. Made himself big on the edge of that six-yard box. Convy for Reading. Leaves it for his captain, Graham Murty, running up on that right-hand side. And Little steps in, a natural right-winger. Swings it in. Hall with the defending. Oh, Lita with the acrobatics. What can you say about the million pound man? Worth every penny with finishing like that. 2-2. Two -two. Here's Little. Doyle on the overlapping run. The goalkeeper will have to be quick. There's a good shout for a penalty for Reading there. And again, the referee... He's having to make some difficult decisions. Lita from the penalty spot. Gore oh, Corrali saves. What's happening here? There's a chance. It may have to be retaken, I think. The referee is not impressed with the movement on the line from the goalkeeper. The Hungarian international moved early. And the referee is going to try and sort this one out. It's Little with the retaken penalty. Will he have any more luck? No, saved. Well, real drama at the Modeski Stadium. And this game balancing on a knife edge. Reading squandering two penalty chances there. First Lita and then Glenn Little. And Ian Dowie, he's been sent to the stands, much to the joy of the Reading fans. Ian Dowie, the Crystal Palace manager, giving the referee a piece of his mind and landing himself in trouble for it. Here comes Doyle down the left-hand side. Strong and combative as ever and wins a free kick good play from the young Irish player down that left hand side and it's a chance for Little to swing the ball in to the penalty box then Little the right foot of him will be the man to swing it into the penalty box Referee being pedantic about where the wall's set up here come Reading in swinger Sonko and Sonko is a man who puts Reading 3-2 up 
towering header. And that could be a very valuable three points to Reading. Continuing their charge, trying to keep in touch with Sheffield United at the top of the championship. Sonko's header could have sealed three points for Reading. And referee Brian Kirsten blows his final whistle. 3-2 to Reading, a terrific contest. Big crowd in on this Tuesday night and they'll have enjoyed every minute of it. Yeah, it was, it was uh, probably the most exciting game I've played in for Reading so far, and it was, it was just one of those all-around good team performances. It was, uh, I think it was just a great game for everyone. I don't think you can single out one person for, for you know, doing anything better than anyone else. I think everyone put in, you know, uh, put in their all, and, and playing Saturday, Tuesday is really, really difficult, especially away and, and, and traveling Sunday. You're traveling right after the game back. Um, you know, I think it was just all-around good, good team performance and shows why you know, we want to be promoted this year. Just tell me about that goal. I mean, is that one of your trademarks? Stunning yeah. goal. Yeah, I've scored a few of them, you know. Um, when the ball's in the air like that, I don't think you don't get time to bring it down. So you got to do whatever comes to your mind first, and that was the first thing I thought. So, and um, it's a good finish. It was terrific, and, you know, even if we hadn't have won tonight, uh, I still would have been very, very satisfied with our performance. It was end-to-end uh, -end stuff two passionate sides who didn't want to lose you know we got the better of it today but uh, you know it was uh, fairly testing at various stages during the evening one's got